Hi everyone, Shirtlight here, and just before we start, I thought I'd get a few things out of the way for it. So, I've got some good news, as you might have noticed, I didn't end up on a week-long hiatus last week, since I had to kinda reschedule the thing I was to sort out. Also, I got a little editing gig, and uh, yeah, that aside, some of you might have also noticed that I've got a little community poll set up. For some odd reason, I can use the community tab now, and in case anyone would wants to vote on the next mobile suit for me to cover, I did one a while ago, and it's gonna be up until Christmas, so if you want to see your preferred flavor of robot fighting, go for it. Speaking of Christmas, I've got a neat little special on the way. Well, let's get back to it. So, we got ourselves a little Neo Zeon vs Ayug match, I'm rocking the Gas on, my allies here with the Gas D, and I'm up with, well, I'm up against a Neo, a Nemo, and also a GM3. That one's in the EFSF specs, if I recall correctly. That means no hit missiles, but uh, has a shield as well. Anyways, uh, yeah, the Gazome. For some reason, it's in the in the B rank mobile suit group where the gun mark 2 belongs but yeah I either I can't use it or the armors are really really brill but it seems that both can be true at the same time as I took quite a lot of punishment however I also brought down two enemy machines now the gas home, yeah, I got hit out of the air, so that was rather unwise on my part. Anyways, the gas home is a Neo Zeon suit from double 88. It's got a standard issue beam saber, which I've currently whiffed. It's got some missiles on its back as the secondary weapon. It has the Hyper Knuckle Buster, basically a souped up. Uh, Gas a sea gun, and uh, it has the arm speed, arm uh, beam spot guns. <laughs> Apologies for the stutter. From the Toad's Raider, if I recall correctly. Anyways, I still have to get the hang of it. So that's why you see me just jumble it, and and so on. Yeah, I got some more onto that GM3, and I'm taking pot shots at it, rammed it, got it, and almost got stopped by the fallen mobile suit because, for some odd reason, this game uh, kind of doesn't uh, nullify the clipping when you are passing through a mobile suit in a flyby, and that means you can get stuck on a on, a, on an enemy that has fallen down. Which is a nasty thing because that can turn you into a sitting duck. Anyways, I'm. I think I got the general gist of it. And I got hit on. right as I landed, so. Well, ignore that! <laughs> if you want to, that is. And. Uh, yeah, tried using the beam spot guns. But I guess my main assets will be the Knuckle Buster, because it has a better angle while not slowing me that much, and the missiles, which are pretty neat. Also, on a completely unrelated note, I got, a, I got into a little bit of a dilemma as of late. As you can see, I'm not really fond of... Uh, you know, doing the good old please like and subscribe routine, but you know, I kind of feel like everyone does it, and I guess it does something for the numbers. So I'm kind of split on it, and uh, it could be somewhat beneficial for me. Could not, uh, maybe. Maybe it would not, not completely sure, so just a heads up 
in case I in case I end up on the other side of the dilemma and uh, eventually just go for please like and subscribe in fact there's early uploads on the Odyssey channel so in case you want to keep up with it you might as well click that button over there maybe over here on YouTube I mean you're probably watching this one on YouTube so yeah I mean, it can help you keep up with the uploads because as you can see and as you know it's weekly slash bi-weekly so you know could be something worth worth considering and as I ended up rambling on the well the round goes on and I think I've got the general gist of it well not sure if I said it before that but yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm in the zone with this mold suit. In fact, in a gas zone. <laughs> okay, that that was a rather shitty pun. Okay, my attempts to ram the GM3 ended up on six unsuccessfully. Apologies. Sometimes the occasional stutter gets to me when I'm not uh, not working without the script and. <laughs> You've uh, you've witnessed the outcome uh, more than a few times already. Anyways, there's like two minutes left in the round, so I better make the best of it. Got Miss House loaded up, and uh, bam! Did some did some bombarding on that guy earlier, and uh, guess I'll get the GM free down. With the beam spot gun because the knuckle buster is still getting reloaded. I don't like using the beam spot gun, to be honest. Because not sure if it has a lower damage, but I kind of feel like it's constantly stopping me in places I turn, and uh, you know, just just doesn't feel right. At least I have the missiles and the knuckle buster to fall back on. So that's neat. And uh, I think I'll land a kill shot on on that Nemo. Well, the gas D beat me to it. And uh, now, now I almost got stuck on the fallen GM3. Got last minute, got last minute of the round, so if that's what I'll do. And uh, ooh. so turns out the exchange of uh, beams was quite mutual, as you can see from uh, from the HP on my mobile suit and my attempts to get the Nemo. Oh, well, I didn't really account for for those nasty, nasty Vulcans. Well, I still have. Uh, quite the lead so yeah time for some uh, end of the round uh, kill shots I'm pretty sure I can turn around just like that yeah it's a cloud of smoke on the part of my ally and uh, yeah got some finisher using the ram and maneuver yeah, end of the round and turns out that I win Let's take a little peek at the scoreboard once the loading ends and ooh, 12 kills, 3 deaths. Great. Anyways, Shirtlight signing out.